A very good evening to one and all, to the panel members, faculty, and my fellow student managers. I am Nikhil Angne, and here is the person who thinks he's eligible bachelor of the SBS and handsome hunk. Uh, he is. Yeah, I'm Sayyog Dhote. Oh. And we are here going to present our seminar presentation on. First of all, I would like to have a video, audio, so that you can guess what pro, uh, topic which we are going to present. Can we have a audio video? Maybe please. Okay, any guess guys? Yeah, that's right. We are going to be here to present a seminar on the case study on Scorpio Triumph. Hardcore so Scorpio fan. Any guys, Scorpio fans? Yes. Yeah. Next. 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 Yeah. Yeah, we'll start with the content. Uh, we'll start from the introduction. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Sayo, you forgot of the objective. Oh, yeah. The main objective of uh, our inter uh, choosing this topic was as from the childhood, the Scorpio was my best and most masculine SUV I have seen from childhood. It was my love. So that was the main reasons I connected to this topic. As coming to the content, uh, I start from the introduction. Then we'll go to the stats and then I will conclude with the conclusion. Yeah, next. Yeah, we are the introductions. Mahindra and Mahindra Limited has been in like, uh, we can say, uh, manufacturing industrial in the Indian market. And the uh, founders were KC Mahindra, JC Mahindra. But first, uh, it was set up in 1945, yeah, by the Mahindra and Mohammed, literally like Mahindra and Mahindra. Yeah, in the next, like, we can see that the current chairman, uh, the Mr. Anand Mahindra, is the business tycoon. Yeah? Everyone agrees? Yeah. Yeah. Laterally, the Mahindra focuses on the areas like mobility, IT information, like information technology, and like from technology, banking, logistics, in the outlets, yeah, 733 dealers in 470 cities, and the employments are 39,000 plus. Yeah. Next. Yeah, uh, we'll go into concentrate on the Mahindra Automotive segment. Here, Mahindra Automotive segments, uh, here we can see there are four constituted de uh, departments they are divided into. The Mahindra Passenger Vehicles, Mahindra Commercial Vehicles, Mahindra Electrical Vehicles, as well as the Customization. So, they are the major products of Mahindra Passenger Vehicles are XUV, XUV 500, Scorpio, and E. Electrical Vehicles, they are E2O Vehicle, as well as E Verito. And the further description has given. Next. Yeah, the Scorpio launch and feature. The, it is the first SUV launched by the Mahindra and uh, in the global market. It was launched in 2002, but early for the, 90, it was in 1997, they started the project to work on the development over there, the design, the aerodynamics, it was all planned. But basically it was designed to the targeted audience in the urban market, yeah. And next. Next. So I would like to show the muscularity of the Scorpio by the short video. May I have the video please? Lights. Lights please. Like you need a watch too. The new generation Scorpio. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's in fact. So that's the muscular Scorpio for you. Yeah, the Scorpio comparing with the competitors. Yeah, we are listed some competitors, and like we can see here in the looks and styling, and in the engine performance, riding, space comfort, and value for money, Mahindra Scorpio takes it all. Yeah, next. Yeah, the main part is the success story. Mainly, Mahindra played their trump card by introducing the Scorpio in the 2002 year. As soon as the car was launched, there was about 1,000 bookings in a week. So, as Mahindra played is a trump card, they have managed to get a lot number of customers in their pocket, as well as they gained the sustainability, as well as the product stability of their product by introducing this Mahindra by initially investing only 500 to 600 crores in this initial investment cost. Next. The reasons for the success, they are the most uh, successful brand going from the decades. The first reason I will conclude, they have the robust design as well as it is so handy to carry, carry out in any terrain. Then uh, uses of the latest technology is the most important thing they are carrying out in the Mahindra technology. The, Affordable pricing, the affordable pricing is also the one of the most important character because it, it is affordable to each and every segment of the class. Next. The marketing strategy played by the Mahindra for the Scorpio purpose was the most important thing. They have gone through each, uh, go through the Scorpio to each and every terrain to show how the compatible their Scorpio is. The network, the dealers they have, each and out, each other 733 outlets are present in the country all over India, and the, uh, they come up with the, the Samruddhi Center where if your uh, car fails, your vehicle fails, they come over there and take the tow, tow from over there, and they will meet you can get the car into your service center. Next. Yeah, the marketing share in India. As you can see there, the major contribution in the revenue is done by Maruti Suzuki with the 49.98% and then by Honda in Hyundai India with 16.31% and then comes the third with the Mahindra and Mahindra with a 7.57% and later down the other brands which take over. Next. Here is the revenue. As you can see in the 27th in fiscal year, it's 47.384 crores and in the fiscal year of uh, 2018, it's turned out to 49.445 uh, crores, it is a growth rate of 2.27%. Yeah, next please. The competitors were here, the main competitors for the Scorpio is Vitara Brisa leading way ahead by contributing near about 10,491 crores as in their revenue. Then Scorpio comes in the fifth position contributing 3434,000 crores as a revenue to the Mahindra. Next. The revenue contributed, uh, contribution of the passenger vehicles of the Mahindra are as follows. As the Scorpio is the leading contributor uh, with the 3659 crore, the huge number, and followed by the second, followed by the Scorpio, with the total revenue. Here, the, all the passenger vehicles contributes near about 25.8% of the total revenue of automobiles for the Mahindra. Next. Yeah, before coming to the swords, I would like to share something like why Mahindra Mahindra concentrates on the Scorpio and like they every uh, two years they introduce Scorpio with a new technology and upgradation. The Mahindra says change is only constant in life. That's true. And that's impactful. Yeah, they become with the upgrade. Now coming back to the swords, like we can see the strong stance. The strong, it, it has a strong brand in the automotive industry, economical and uh, quality uh, product. Yeah, good build quality. And in the weaknesses, it's still way behind from uh, in the Maruti Suzuki and Hyundai. Yeah. The opportunities they have to tap the village market is rural marketing uh, and to also segment car in the hatchback as well as sedan one. And the threats, uh, of course, the petrol market price or the diesel market price is a major threat to each and every company. And also they have to uh, make the changes in their uh, each and every customer segment dealing uh, habit of that. <coughs> Next. Yeah, coming to the conclusion. The Scorpio has been a milestone for the um, Mahindra and Mahindra and the Indian open automobile industry. It is a unique given place to Mahindra Mahindra in the market with a in high quality, flexibility and reliability style and driving comfort. Yeah. Also Mahindra targeted uh, the young and youth dynamic personality of uh, uh, India. So they are targeted very well and hence uh, they give the against the time, quality and better upliftment of the Scorpio as provided and determined to them. Thank you. Thank you.